Cindy. I am a sand tail crane and this is a great blue heron. Now, we are both pretty similar. We have gray feathers, we have a long beak, long neck, we favor wetland areas and we have long wingspans and stand about four to five feet tall. But there's a few differences between us. Let me tell you about them. So when cranes fly, they have wingspans about seven feet and they fly with their wings out in snappy movements and often raise their wings above their body. Great blue herons though, they fly with slower movements and often have their wings below their body. Now, when cranes fly, we like to stick our necks straight out like this. But great blue herons, when they fly, they have their neck in an S shape like this. Key difference there. Now, we, when, we, when we fly, we both great blue herons and sandhill cranes stick our feet straight out like this. There are differences in our feet. Sandhill cranes have three toes in the front and a short hind toe. And this actually prevents us from roosting in trees. Great blue herons, however, have a longer hind toe where they can roost in trees. So you might find a heron in a, in a tree, but me, a sandhill crane, you're not gonna find roosting in a tree. So sandhill cranes, you will find on the ground or flying. 